speculum examination and then bimanual vaginal examination so uh, to do a speculum examination ideally it should be a sim speculum examination i will show you how to do a sim speculum examination so we uh, uh, um, we put the uh, the prolapsed uh, the the cervix and the uterine part inside we reduce it and then now we put the patient in sims position oh podda ke petter hari dan me kapula dik kar gan me kapula dik kar gan hari awunu mana waga oh me indene hari manda wahala thiyena hari now this is the sims position mana sims speculum ekak denna ba so i'll take a sims speculum and i'll take the normal sob ekak denna sob ekak mokak hari sob ekak hari cotton kayal ekak hari so this is a sims speculum this is a sponge forceps so i need these two instruments to do a sims speculum examination ideally so i take a piece of swab and i make it in such a way mat gel tikak den gel hari mona hari saline hari kamanna and i hold it like that i moist it so that it will be much easier moist this as well okay so this is now i'm going to put a sim speculum examination i will hold this like that and then put the speculum in from the posterior side now then i would use this the sponge and retract to see whether the anterior vaginal wall prolapse tata man nama mara podda and you can see that the anterior vaginal wall prolapse is there then to see the posterior vaginal wall prolapse i would hold the uh um the anterior vaginal wall with the sponge forceps and i slowly take out the sim speculum out and then that man so you can see it comes very much out so there is a, actually there is a recto seal as well right hari am den ane petter hari inde so now we are going to do a bimanual vaginal examination in the bimanual vaginal examination what i would do is i would use one hand to examine vaginally and the hand from the abdomen so i want to remove this cloud make that tell that Right, and then that hand is in the abdomen like that, in the abdomen, and this hand in the vagina. मरे जेल हरी मन हांटी करते। Yeah. So first, I would put one finger and then the both fingers. I check the cervix. I have seen the cervix anyway, but the cervix appear firm and regular. And then I would check the uterus. uterus i would uh, press up from the posterior for, uh, fornix upwards to check the size of the uterus and i press from the tummy to see the size appreciate the size so it is an atrophic uterus it is very small atrophic uterus and uh, then i will go to the lateral edges to see whether there is a lateral um, uh, mass that i can feel i don't feel any masses here and this side as well and the uterus and the adenexia are very well mobile and the uh, posteriorly i would do a uh, i would check the uterosacral ligaments from uh, uh, by uh, turning my hand to other side and that appear also appears normal there are no endometriotic nodules or anything like that that might hamper my surgery so that is a bimanual vaginal examination good